The hope is that it will reduce the kind of injuries in players linked to these types of tackles, which Ohio's orthocincy sports medicine specialist Dr. Nicholas Early says are usually in the lower extremities. So a hip drop tackle is when a defensive player grabs the person who's running the ball to tackle them and actually leaves their feet then and kind of rotates and throws their hips underneath their body. So what can happen is that the player who's actually making the tackle can then roll onto the legs of the person who has the ball. And so you're, there's a chance then for a lower leg injury. The Cincinnati Bengals' Jamar Chase brought up what he thought was a hip drop tackle in the Bengals' Chiefs game recently. According to published reports from the NFL, physical therapist Timothy Bonacom says they haven't seen a lot of these injuries yet this season, even in high school games. But the kind of injuries reported from these hip drop tackles do include. And we do see some ankle foot injuries, even up to the knee and into the hip in terms of joint injuries. And then we're also seeing some soft tissue in terms of uh, what we're seeing from ligament sprains, some muscle strains and stuff like that along with it. The reason it's considered so dangerous to players it's just the, the full body weight that gets pushed onto the, uh, to the offensive player as we go. You're, you're putting a lot of load and stress onto a joint and then risking putting that joint into a compromised state with where they're getting tackled and where the forces are going. Both of these sports medicine specialists say we still have a lot of education to do to try to better protect players from these lower body injuries due to the hip drop tackle. Sure, you can stop watching, but let's be honest, you want to know more. Tap the links or even better, click subscribe to stay in the know.